Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to Cap Tech. And today I want to talk to you guys about TDSS Killer from Kaspersky Labs. This is a small little utility designed to help find and remove rootkits on your system. Now what is a rootkit? A rootkit is a program or a kit that's designed to hide itself on your system, oftentimes being malicious. What a rootkit does is it dives way down deep into the underlying functions of Windows, down in the API level, and it modifies itself so that it looks like traditional Windows files, making it harder for Windows to detect it to be a faulty program, and it makes it harder for any virus programs to be able to find it because oftentimes it looks like a legit program. So Kaspersky developed a program called TDSS Killer, originally designed just to target the TDSS rootkit, but since then has expanded it to look for other rootkits. There's a lot of them out there, and this is a really good tool to be able to scan your system to see if you have any of the more popular rootkits out there. Now this program can be downloaded as a standard executable or a zip file that has the executable with inside of it that you would have to extract. Um, sometimes you might want to download the zip file if your computer software or your internet connection doesn't allow direct downloading of executables. Sometimes other antiviruses may trigger it saying, hey, you're trying to download a program. I'm not going to let that go through. So you can download the zip file. And the links to be able to download this and see some more information about it, of course, will be in the video description down below. Now, every once in a while, you may end up with a problem on your computer where you do have some rootkits and some problems, and it won't allow TDSS Killer to run. In that case, what you can do is rename the executable as to something like iExplore.exe so that the virus or malicious software running on your system might think you're just trying to load Internet Explorer. You could also name it Notepad.exe or anything that looks like a common program, and that will be sufficient enough to trick the software into thinking you're running something save and not get itself removed. So let me show you how to use this. When you're ready to run TDS Killer here, it doesn't necessarily have an installer. You can download just the straight executable. You run it, it'll ask you if you're sure you want to run it, you let it go through. It'll check for updates, make sure that everything's there, and then it'll unpack the necessary file. Sometimes it takes just a little bit longer depending on the speed of your computer. You can go through and accept the end user license agreement. And then there's Kaspersky's security network statement that you can accept as well. Go ahead and accept that. It'll finish doing its initialization, and then it takes you to the main interface. It's really simple. You can go under and change parameters, and by default it's set to scan everything except for loaded modules. And then down here you have a couple different uh, additional options to make it scan a little bit deeper. Uh, when you select this loaded modules option, it's going to tell you that you'll have to reboot the computer in order for it to run, and that will try and get it to boot up before everything else in the system loads. And that's what keeps it from accidentally loading anything malicious while it's trying to scan it. But by default, it's disabled and you can just let it run as is with everything running and you don't have to reboot your system to run it. And then you go ahead and let it do its scan. It usually doesn't take a whole lot of time to go through and do a scan. And hopefully after you get to the end of the scan, you'll see mine took about 30 seconds, that it found no threats and it didn't have to do anything. If it did happen to find any threats, it would give you the option to quarantine them or delete them. And then it would probably tell you to reboot your system so it can fully remove them. So TDSS Killer is one of these tools that I like to have saved on my utility thumb drive in case I need to clean up a system or keep it in my downloads folder for future access. Because anytime you run it, it will download the most updated version of the program itself and the definitions necessary to try and find newer RIT kits found. So it's not something you have to have running on your system all the time. It's excellent to have as an on-demand scanner. doesn't take very long to get through the whole scan process and just kind of let you know if you're good to go or not. So that about wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for your time. I truly do appreciate it. If you would, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button below the video because I do appreciate that too. And if you have any questions or comments, do put them in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. You guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later.